Welcome to Movie Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about adding three or more mixed numbers. And a mixed number is when you have an integer and a proper fraction. And I'll show you two techniques. Let's start off uh, with a fairly simple one. The first technique is, and, and I like to draw a line just so you can show, what's, show you what's going on, is you put the whole numbers on one side and the fractions on the other side. Okay, so I have 1 plus 1 plus 2, and then 1 fourth plus 2 fourths plus 1 fourths. I then always start on the fraction side, because if you get an improper fraction, you're going to have to move a whole number to the other side. And this is simple. So I, now I have 1 plus 1 fourth plus 2 fourths is equal to 3 fourths plus 1 fourths. And when I add that together, that gives me 4 over 4, which is equal to 1. So I will move the 1 to the other side. And so I now have 1 plus 1, which is 2, plus 2, which is 4, plus 1, which is 5. Okay, that's the first technique. The second technique is you can convert them to an improper fraction. And so I'll do that quickly. And so then I convert... 1 and 1 fourth, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5 fourths, plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 is 6 fourths, plus two, 9 fourths. And the way I got 9 fourths, 4 times 2 plus 1 is 9. I then just add these together. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 9 is 20 over 4, which is equal to 5. Same answer. Um... And you can see which one. I personally think this method is a little bit easier because um, I just think I just enjoy it a little bit more. Okay, let's do another one. But this time you will notice that we have uh, different denominators. So we're going to have to find a lowest common denominator to solve. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll draw a line. I'll place the whole numbers on one side and the fractions on the other side. Okay. And I then, since I have different denominators, need to find a lowest common denominator. And so I'll go 4, 8, 12, 6, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12. Just to show you that 12 is your lowest common denominator. Okay, so now I'm going to rewrite these. 4 goes into 12 3 times, so it'll be 4 times 3. And I'll do the same to the top, plus 6 goes into 12 two times. And 3 times 2, and 2 goes into 12 six times. Okay, I now just multiply these out. 3 times 3 is 9 over 12, plus 6 over 12, plus 6 over 12. Okay, I then... Add these fractions together. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 9 is 21 over 12. I now have an improper fraction, so 12 goes into 21 one time with a remainder of 9 twelfths, and 9 twelfths can be reduced to 3 fourths. Okay, so I'm going to move this 1 to this side. So now it becomes 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 3 fourths. Okay, let me go back to this 9 twelfths. The way I reduce that is, as you know, 4 will go, excuse me, 3 will go into 9 3 times, and 3 will go into 12 4 times. So that's how I reduced it. Okay, that would be the first technique. Now, let me go ahead and work it the same way but I'm going to convert it to an improper fraction this time and so let's go ahead and start converting and you can see and you can choose which way you like 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is um, 7 fourths plus 12 15 6 plus 3 halves okay now at this time I need to find a lowest common denominator and since I just did that I will go 4 times 3 and 7 times 3 because the lowest common denominator is 12. 
and then 15 times 2 over uh, 6 times 2 plus 3 times 6 plus 2 times 6. Okay, I then multiply these out, so that gives me 21 over 12 plus 30 over 12 plus 18 over 12. I now add all this together, so that becomes 51 plus 18 is 69 over 12. And now I have an improper fraction, and I can convert it to a mixed number. 12 goes into 69 five times, and that equals 60. Five times 12 is 60. You have nine remaining. That becomes nine twelfths, and that's the same fraction we had before, which is three fourths. Okay. Hope that helps. I showed you two different ways to add three or more mixed numbers. You can either just add the fractions and the whole numbers, or you can convert them to improper fractions. Hope this helps. Moomoo Math uploads a new math video every day.